for levels of protein structures by Jessica Freitas, Bio 190, UNR. The four levels of protein structures consist of one, primary, two, secondary, three, tertiary, and four, quaternary. Each we will cover in this video. Let's begin with primary. Primary is the first step. The primary protein structure consists of an amino acid sequence. As you can see in the picture on the left, the amino acid subunits are all connected, each forming a chain. The amino acids are bonded together um, by polypeptide bonds. Peptide bonds, to be more specific. Secondary structures is the next structure after primary. It's the folding or coiling of the polypeptide into the repeating configuration. The two components or configurations that I mentioned before are displayed in this picture. The yellow are beta pleated sheets and the purple coils are alpha helix coils. Each of these are part of the secondary structure. The shapes and structures are dependent on hydrogen bonding. As you can see in this photo, the beta pleated sheets are folding while the amino acid of the helix has a coil shape, each with hydrogens. Next, tertiary structures. Tertiary structures consist of the overall 3D shape of the polypeptide. They're determined by the interactions among various side chains R groups. Protein molecules will blend and twist to achieve maximum stability, creating shapes like the one you see here. Last, but definitely not least, we have quaternary structures. Quaternary structures are the overall protein structures that result from the aggregation of two or more polypeptide subunits. So as you can see in this photo, the blue and the white are each of the each their own polypeptide combined together. When we compare tertiary, we can see that one tertiary is in the quaternary structure, which we can see about two or more. How can I possibly remember all these steps and structures, you're probably wondering. When I did it, I thought about cake. Cake is a very easy way to remember the steps. For example, primary, the amino acid chain is lined up much like your ingredients to make a cake would be. You need the sequence of amino acids in a polypeptide just as much as you need the ingredients to make a cake. When it comes to secondary, secondary structures are the folding or the coiling as polypeptides, as we remember. The folding and the coiling is much like mixing the cake batter and the clumping together. Tertiary is next. As we recall, it's the overall three-dimensional shape, determined by the interactions among the various side chains. Different shapes can be formed when you're baking cakes. Similar to the shapes of the cake pan, or the R groups, is determining the shape of the cake, creating a 3D shape of the batter. Quaternary is next. Overall protein structure that results from the aggregation of two or more polypeptide subunits is like saying the polypeptide subunits combining is much like placing two or more cakes together, as you can see in that photo where multiple cakes are placed together. The end. I hope you guys learned a lot.